Carl Lenz is back. No, he's, he's not back at being a head pastor of a church, but a church has hired him. And this church is Transformation Church. They're in Oklahoma, led by Michael Todd. And we are going to dive into this report. Carl Lenz, former Hillsong, New York pastor, joins Transformation Church as strategist. Now, I don't know what that is or what that means, but that's his role at this church says this, more than two years after a sex and leadership scandal led to his firing from Hillsong Church, New York City, Carl Lenz is now back in ministry as a strategist at the Transformation Church led by Pastor Michael Todd in Tulsa, Oklahoma. In a statement to Two News Oklahoma, Transformation Church's executive pastor, Tammy McCourty, said they believe Lenz has been restored and are pleased to have him help others experience restoration as well. After two years of Carl being in his own discovery and healing process, he has shown readiness to use his God-given gifts towards the local church again. We believe in Carl, his marriage, his skill set, and his restoration, McCourty said. We pray that Carl, Laura, and their family experience not only their own restoration, but help others experience restoration by using their triumphs and failures to create resources for the body of Christ at large. We believe that this is part of what it looks like for the church to be the church, she added. Um, last September, Lenz's wife, Laurel and Laura, announced that Lenz had humbled himself and taken responsibility for his failures in ministry. I look forward to sharing our story, how I came to that conclusion, and I think it's going to help a lot of people. But I am so proud of my husband and for the responsibility he has taken. Mostly, I'm grateful for a man who humbled himself and didn't try to defend himself. He has kept quiet publicly and has remained focused on one thing that matters most, our family. So guys, this is, this is so far the update. Um, that we have of Carl Lentz and his new role as strategist at Transformation Church. Um, how should we view this? How should we feel about this? Um, really, guys, what is what is encouraging and we have to remember, too, is, listen, Carl Lentz has been quiet for two plus years, guys, and um, he's seemed to humble himself and he seemed to take this restoration process very serious and he's worked on his family so we should be encouraged by that we shouldn't discard him and be like he can never step foot in a church again um and and be a staff member or anything like that and and we should also be encouraged by the fact that he's not the associate pastor he's not the lead pastor he, he's not taking a pastoral role right now but he's he's under the pastor he's under other staff leaders and he's a strategist and so however that looks whatever that looks like it sounds like they're going to use what they went through what he went through what their family went through as a way to help others who are going through situations similar and and so guys this is super encouraging and we should all be encouraged and we should be praying and continue praying for Carl and Transformation Church and, and Mike Todd and, and all of them guys and 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 I may not personally agree with a lot of Mike Todd's teachings but that doesn't mean uh, this isn't encouraging and so we can wait and see as I say often with things like this we can see how it plays out and that's what we can do but uh, Carl Lenz is back um, he's a strategist at Transformation Church and it sounds like he's doing good it sounds like he trimmed the hair up. It's not long anymore. He looks healthy from what people are saying. So, um, and his, his wife and kids, the family's doing well, it sounds. So that's encouraging. That should uh, bless our hearts to hear because all of us deserve grace and mercy because we've all fallen short of God's glory every single day. And let's be reminded of that as we hear this news.